Hey y'all, it's my moisturizing wash day. We have TGIN's Moisture Rich Shampoo, follow up with Suave's Tropical Coconut Conditioner. Then I'm gonna be doing a green tea rinse. I'm gonna be making, well, using the Queen Helen's Cholesterol and combining that with two packages of the Olive Oil Replenishing Conditioner, the Sweet Orange Oil. I also like to add a little bit of oil, almond oil, and some jojoba oil. Then I'm gonna be using the Aphigis Carantine and Green Tea Reconstructor. Off cam, I'm gonna be using Cryer Botanicals uh, Conditioner and her Mango Buttercream. All right, y'all, so starting off with shampooing my hair. So again, using TGIN's Moisture Shampoo. I love this shampoo in particular. Now, it is sulfate-free, but I do not mind using um, shampoos that have sulfates because they do serve their purpose. I actually do use, um, is it Suave's Clarifying Shampoo at least once a month. And so, y'all, I typically do shampoo my hair twice, but this go-around, I only did it once, okay? loose I'm gonna go in with the Suave's conditioner now y'all I like to get the family size jar but um, I saw this in my local Dollar Tree and I picked me up a jar I killed this entire bottle and I actually needed a little bit more but that's okay so trying to put my hair up section it off and start applying the conditioner <music> So while my hair is saturated with conditioner, I'm going to go in with the Felicia Leatherwood brush and start detangling some sections here. So I do love this brush and I have a separate video on reviewing this particular hair tool. <laughs> Highly recommend it if you have four type hair. So y'all, I will have to say, you know, you, know, you guys know that I'm coming to a close, hopefully, with reviewing new products. Well, But one thing I wanted to um, point out is that I always try to use very affordable products. Products. Not everyone has the coins to go out and spend $10, $15 on hair products and it starts to add up. So this particular product I got from my local Dollar Tree and actually everything that you see me, girl, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> everything that I'll be using besides the TGIN um, shampoo is extremely affordable under $5, okay? <music> Thank you. 
wanted to show you guys my shrinkage. You see the one side, it has not, it's actually it's drying. And then the other side is saturated with water and conditioner. My shrinkage is incredible. Y'all, I haven't had my hair flat iron or straightened in a while, but I think it's a little past, uh, it's about four inches past bra length, so mid back length. Um, yeah, so I would not recommend doing this in the shower. I don't know why I did this to get my hair out the way, but I'm going to give you guys a little bit of hair porn, child. Yes, just shake it around, slow motion for you. Um, <laughs> Y'all know I'm silly. So now going in with the green tea rinse, I like to do this before my deep conditioner actually um, and after my rinse out conditioner if I do use a rinse out conditioner. Now y'all, I've been using green tea to help with shedding. Uh, this is like my fourth or fifth application and it really has helped slowing down the shedding, okay? <music> string of hair is y'all I think it's just a piece of my hair that's hanging down so anyway applying the deep conditioner I've been using this particular mixture for about five years since I've been natural it gives my hair so much slip my coils are defined and I really do feel like it's a great uh, deep conditioner that is very affordable so I'm going to use all of it honey section my hair off twist it up and then what I'm going to do off cam is apply heat I'll use my heat cap for about 15 minutes and then I rinse it out y'all so continuing to add the deep conditioner in my opinion this is the most important step when it comes to having a moisturized wash day is ensuring that you use an adequate deep conditioner and applying heat so off cam I am going to be using my heat cap like I stated for about 10 or 15 minutes and then I do make sure to rinse it out the last rinse is lukewarm water girl I know we don't want to have lukewarm titties but y'all excuse me but it does help when it comes to moisture retention so here I am in the shower rinsing out the deep conditioner you can see my curls are popping and my hair feels fabulous <laughs> That's about it, you guys. I'm about done rinsing out the deep conditioner. My hair feels amazing. It is growing. It feels healthy. I can honestly say this is the healthiest my hair has been in, in a very long time. For a while there, I thought I had protein overload, but I'm back to feeling normal. So now all I would do is apply my leave-in conditioner and style my hair as needed. So thank y'all so much for watching and stay tuned for some bloopers. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Why are Christmas clothes on in the shower? Why don't you go mind your business? Yeah. Well, those, well, those hair clips on your hair, and and you mind better mind your business. Did you say I'm weird? Yeah. Your mama's weird. Exactly. <laughs>